needed to settle conflicts through detente with the Soviet Union much more quickly, who would have paid attention to the young people in our college campuses <coughs> and the black people in our inner cities. Both groups felt no one was listening and rioted. That wouldn't have happened had Bobby been like the president. I hear a lot of the same things that Jack was interested in and that he pursued as president that Bobby might have pursued as well. Yes. Do you think that there might have been differences between a JFK and an RFK presidency in certain ways? It's hard to say. Times have already changed some. But I think uh, JFK was um, a little more intellectual than RFK. RFK was a little more emotional and passionate than uh, JFK. JFK was more knowledgeable about international issues because of his own background and studies. RFK may have felt more deeply about some domestic issues that never really reached JFK's uh, plate. I think they would have gone on, those two presidencies would have gone on parallel tracks, and I can only dream of what uh, a different country and world this might have been had those two been lived. The uh, title of our conference is John F. Kennedy History, Memory, Legacy. What do you believe is President Kennedy's legacy? Hope. Hope for people at the bottom of that economic pyramid, for minorities and people of different religions and nationalities in this country, but even hope for the people whom he talked about in his inaugural address, living in misery and poverty and ill 
you want, would you like me to repeat those ten? Yeah, could you hear it? We can do it in five minutes. <laughs> 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 Let me focus on the one that, that I think might be it. There was no, I heard the last thing. There was, there was no Senate bill that was signed by Kennedy about greenbacks. That I can assure you. Okay. The other one, I'm sorry, but the other one had to do with, I think, his speech to the American Newspaper Publishers Association related to secrecy and uh, secrecy. Not a good speech. Why, why not? There was a speech uh, in which he was uh, still uh, you know, embarrassed and upset by the debate of pig. And uh, who knows, he probably wanted to share a little blame. And so uh, he felt that uh, newspapers uh, were releasing too much high tech information that was uh, from the military. Obviously leaked and should have been kept uh, secret. So I don't think uh, he was afterwards particularly proud of that speech, and I wasn't. Did he ever say that he regretted giving it later? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. But I also heard something about Kennedy's death. I, I don't that. talk about Kennedy's death. First of all, because it's still like, too unpleasant to talk about for me to think about. Second, because I don't know who or what was behind uh, his death. Most of the conspiracy theories uh, have all kinds of speculation that would not be accepted in the court of law on the lawyer, and none of those theories would bring Kennedy back to us. So uh, I don't know. Okay. Mr. Sorensen. This afternoon we heard recordings of President Kennedy's inaugural address, which, which you had a hand in writing. Okay. How many drafts did that go through before that speech was finished? And what was it like getting the words right for President Kennedy? Are you clear to deep government secrets? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, that particular speech uh, went through uh, several drafts, uh, some in uh, Washington, some in his home in Palm Beach, and even after that there were some changes made. Two years ago, there were two books that came out totally devoted to Kennedy's inaugural. I said, and when the Times, the New York Times called me up, I said, I find it a little odd that no attention is paid in these books to how Kennedy's values in that speech have been dishonored by the current administration. And yet two books are devoted to finding out who wrote particular words or phrases or sentences in the book, which is not all that important. So I would simply say that working with Kennedy on his speeches was a joy because he had the most fertile 